guys, welcome back to Africa Web TV. Right now, I'm with the girl of the moment, Delphine. She is a talented designer. Today at Africa Web TV, we're doing fashion. So I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hi, Delphine, and welcome to Africa Web TV. Thank you very much. My name is Delphine Groot. I'm the owner of Bobo Couture. Uh, Bobo Couture, it's actually, it started, I was thinking of a name of my uh, uh, business, and I thought, okay, my ethnic group in Mali is Bobo. So I was like, okay, and in Mali they work a lot with handcrafting and everything. So I was like, okay, so I think it's quite important for me to be part of my business. So that's why I came up with the name Bobo Couture. I'm working with uh, local people in three different countries in Africa. So I'm working in Mali, in Togo, and in Kenya. I have seen uh, some of your designs, they are quite amazing by the way. Uh, thank you. So <laughs> how does one get in contact with you if they want to purchase your design? So actually I have my own um, web shop, so it's called www.bobocouture.com or you can reach me by Facebook, just bobocouture and look at it on the shop. And you can order it or just call me. Yeah. So um, when you're designing the different style of clothes. Yeah. What is your main source of inspiration? What inspires you to come up with a certain design? Well actually I find quite important that it doesn't mean it doesn't matter what kind of size you are, how big you are how small you are or your age. I think it's quite important that everyone should be fashionable. So uh, I try to design things which fits like people working people, the business people and people going to festivals or yes like in the recent uh, year or months, yeah. we've seen African print being a lot of the fashion scene. I think that people are understanding that uh, African fashion is really special, it's really colorful, it makes you also really happy. I mean, I think we're also really tired though, having always this European, European clothes, so it's, you know, and people understand it. You know, you just want to get this character, and the only way to get certain character is having different kind of prints. Because sometimes in Africa, prints also has a meaning behind it, so the taste also. Talking yeah. about meaning in African print, what is? Yeah, actually, the, the funny thing is this: it's actually a, a copy of Bobola. So where I'm talking about it was. Uh, Bobola's origin, it's really expensive now, so people are not able to buy it, or are not able to buy it, but still are, they want to buy it. So they started like, it's called the Coma Text in Mali, so it's located in Cebu. So they are, uh, they are printing out like uh, imitation of Bobola, so this is actually an imitation of Bobola. I studied at the University, University of Amsterdam, so international development. So, and during my study, I uh, just discovered that uh, actually I got a little bit disappointed of, uh, in, uh, of big international organizations like development organizations because they're not that worth it as I was thinking they were. So that's why I started, that there was the reason to start my small business so that I can at least help the local people. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping that can grow and so I'm sure that the money is going to the right side. Okay. If I want to purchase your <laughs> how much are they? Yeah, it varies actually. Because this one that I'm for instance wearing, 60 euros. But there are also this skirt that she's wearing. It's yeah, different prices, it really depends on the material. So do you have this thing? It depends on the material. Yeah, it's not also. that it's a skirt or a shirt or a yeah, no, actually it doesn't really matter, it's really material and some material quite difficult to get also. Mm -hmm. so, it's also so that's the problem. For instance, at the same kit, like what she's wearing, it's like there are different quality of the same kit. You know, you have the expensive one and the cheaper one, so it really depends okay. which one you're using. Can I like send my own design to Bobo Couture and they can sell it for me? Uh, Actually, I don't do a special order because I've done it before and there were some problems because the person didn't like the color and so there were some difficulties. So I just don't want to, I just want to avoid these difficulties. So I just have 
can only buy things which are online from your home. So the stuff that is online, are they different sizes for the same product? Yes, there are different sizes. So uh, these are all handmade. So sometimes uh, it's too small or too big. So it's better if you're close to Amsterdam or if you can give me a call if you want to buy something to just go and fit it, try to fit it and to see if we have to take it or just uh, make it bigger. What about those in the Is there like a size chart that they can work Yeah, actually I'm working just with small, you know, like uh, small, medium, no, actually extra small, small, medium, large, and large, extra large. It's still, you can still order it and fit it at home, and if you don't fit, just send it back. I'm wearing one of Bobo Couture's designs. As you can see, it's a dashiki, or she calls it a masala. Very beautiful piece of dress. What drives you? Uh, what actually drives me is that my ambition, I like to wear clothes. I, I, I grew up wearing African clothes, so that's, that's the, my inspiration just to bring African fabric to Europe and that people are trying to add that people are hope, I'm hoping more and more people start wearing African clothes. Oh, so, love that African print will be in the mainstream shops. Yes, I think it's quite funny that you start about it because the hotspot Amsterdam, I don't know if you know that, but <laughs> that hotspot, and, um, hotspot Amsterdam is actually a clothing store for like, for starters, so then you can hang your clothes there mm -hmm. and uh, so people can come uh, and see it. And actually, just uh, one of the girls was wearing a dress, and then the girl working there, she started talking about uh, to me, and she liked the dress, and then she told me, maybe it will be a good thing for you to hang your clothes there. So, and actually, they have contacted me this, I think maybe my winter collection will be at Hotspot Amsterdam or so. Okay guys, well unfortunately that was it for today. We gotta love you and leave you at the same time. You've heard it yourself from the Go Delphine from Bobo Couture. So if you want to know more about your business or purchase some of their amazing designs, make sure to check out your website that is written on the screen right now. So till we meet again next time, it's from me, Faye and the crew behind Africa Web TV and everybody else here at Bobo Couture. Have a good day. I'm a king, go what? I'm a king, go